yet another Chinese LED streetlight from eBay. And I bought this one from a supplier called Yanan, Y-N-A-A-N. I've bought from them before. It's quite a common item, as always, shop about. Uh, it's classed as a 30 watt LED streetlight and it's available in warm white or cold white. And it's quite a stylish unit. I have to say it's really quite neat. Uh, let's light it up. So I'll just grab some cables here. I'll get the power analyzer and plug that in. The hoppy power analyzer. And I'll get the quick test uh, and we'll connect up. And I know at this point that, uh, because we've already tested, the earth is not connected, but I'll just hook it up anyway. As is often the case, it's the situation that the the wire that comes out these is usually just the other end of it is going into one of these little um, LED drivers and they just don't bother connecting the earth. Never quite worked out why they do that because uh, it's a metal enclosure, you have to, to ground it. Well, certainly in the UK you do. So let's uh, pop that last wire in there. Uh, check that I've got the wires in the right place, power it up and swamp the thing out. I chose the warm white, it's looking a bit silverous and yellow just because of the automatic white, well the, the white balance this is locked to is making it look a bit uh, biased towards yellow. But it is a nice golden white and you can see from, a, I've just pulled the lid of this open, you can see from the way it's lighting the bench that it is actually quite a wide beam because it's got a lens, a glass lens on it. The power, it's drawing 132 milliamps, the power factor is shown as 0.96 and the power is actually 30.95 watts, so um, that's pretty close to the specification of a 30 watt light. Let's open it. So let's disconnect that, let's unplug those, pop them out of the way, and pop this open. So the back will contain no surprises, apart from the missing earth, which is not really a surprise anyway. It will contain one of those little uh, ballasts, those little drivers that is so common, which is good because it means that you can easily repair the light if it needs to be just by putting a new driver in. I suppose ultimately the way they've gone with these uh, driverless LEDs, you could probably uh, well, assess that and we open it. We'll see if it could take one of the driverless chips. So uh, this does have a silicon seal on it. It's got the classic little driver. It's got the the earth wire with its little crimp. Just, you know, there are posts that they could have actually put that into, like probably pre-tapped, maybe, I'm not sure. But you know, they could so easily have just put that earth on, but they, they didn't. It's just so strange to do that. It's glued down as usual with silicon. Uh, and then the DC cables are going through uh, to the LED compartment. Uh, there's no seal round here, so that's a sort of like double-edged sword type thing that if it's, if you, when you put it onto the post, or talking of which, the hole here at the end is about 44 millimeters across. It might be slightly tapered, it's hard to tell. I've not got uh, anything of the right diameter to shove up there. Um, but the, as with all these lights, the hole where the cable comes in doesn't have a glander on it or anything, so um, it's not really a huge risk of what actually what actually getting in there though, um, especially if it's angled slightly up the way. So let's take a look at the lens, which uh, does appear to be glass. It sounds hard and brittly. It doesn't have the plasticky feel to it. I should give it a tooth test, where you simply chop it off your teeth and you can instantly tell if it's uh, glass or plastic. And I'm guessing that it's very hard to tell what sort of LED is under here, because, uh, ew. Oh, it's a standard square LED. It does have, uh, oh, that just lifts out. Okay. Right, so it's a standard LED, uh, but it's got one, two, it's got six rows of smaller chips in, for the to make up the 30 watts. The lens is glass. It's got a silicon seal on the top and the silicon seal underneath, which goes on to this compartment. So uh, two layers of silicon. I guess that might just be to give it give. I'm not quite sure, as a to allow a, you know this to clamp it very evenly. Um, so technically speaking, you could probably is the spacing the same? I think it is. You could probably put a driverless chip in there, although this is domed. 
Um, oh, actually, having said that, it's domed, but the there's a the aluminium there's a little aluminium plinth that sits up that the LED sits on. So it's uh, very serviceable. I mean, you could put in oh, you could put in standard LEDs in there, uh, or one of the driverless ones if you wanted. I bet the modern ones start coming out the driverless ones because they're simply cheaper. Um, and this is just probably for cosmetic appearance, you know, more than anything else. It's quite odd the way it just sits on like that. Um, so it's quite a neat light. I do like the sort of the structure and the fins, and it does seem as though they've made a modest attempt at making it waterproof. So um, yeah, I really should get a, I should get a lamp post, shouldn't I? Or some brackets to the side of the house and start putting street lighting on it. But uh, having said that, if I put all my street lights out there. The place would be kind of bright. It would look like a, it would look like a fairground at night. But um, yeah, I quite like this one. It's quite a stylish little light, and of course, like all the others, it's kind of serviceable in the sense that all the components seem to be standard. Uh oh, I was putting it together, and it's just lost some points for the simple reason that the screws that hold the cover on here are not going down far enough to hold the cover on tightly, and that means there's a risk of you know water ingress underneath there. Uh, it's, they've been drilled, they've been tapped, but the eye of the screws are just that wee bit too long for the holes that have been drilled, or the uh, pillars have not been drilled very deeply and tapped deeply. Uh, there's no real reason that they couldn't have just drilled them right through and tapped them straight through to the other side, because I don't think it would spoil the appearance too much. But um, as it is, if you were to get one of these, uh, just double check that, because uh, that is a possible risk for water ingress uh, if this cover isn't held down tightly.